after I saw the trailer for um, the documentary, I, th I thought I wanted to see if I could help in any way. And I thought, you know, I, I design and I make music, perhaps, you know, I can help in some way, just offer um, my services. Uh, and Claire was keen to, um, to get a logo, to get something that sort of represented um, the documentary visually. Um, so I uh, fired up the computer and set to work on getting some designs done. I'd, I'd asked ask Claire on Twitter, I think, um, what sort of approach did she want to take and the fact that my artwork is, is quite sort of a little bit moody, a little bit dark, is that you know going to work? And she was just really open to suggestions. Um, in terms of the actual design, I wanted it to look quite scrappy because my sort of, my personal feelings towards OCD is when you're, when you're in the moment of getting stuck with uh, anxiety or thoughts and stuff, it's all quite manic and I, I quite often, you know, if I'm repeating something, it's, it's quite frantic and stuff. So I wanted to quite kind of capture that, which is why we went for the sort of scrappy looking writing. So the word sort of living with me and my OCD is in, in sort of a sort of scratchy sort of font which I, I actually created rather than using a standard font I actually sort of hand drew it which is something you can do in the, um, the software that I use. The one that Claire sort of um, focused on was having the words inside a house which is sort of represents the head on a body. Well, that sounds mental and sounds like how on earth would that work but um, hopefully when you see it you get the idea and the fact that um, obviously it's a play on the, the title Living With Me so all of this stuff is in your head, the house represents the head of the body and you know sort of speaks for itself when you see it I think it makes sense. Um, yeah I, I also spoke to, to Claire about in, um, contributing some music to the documentary usually draws on experiences with OCD, not always. Um, a couple of the songs in particular, I think. Um, there's, a, there's a track called I Collect, which is specifically about intrusive thoughts. Uh, and then there's two instrumentals that I wrote. One's called Sleepwalkers and one's called Afterglow. And they are more, because they're instrumental, they're more sort of like just a, a sort of, without this sounding too pretentious, a sort of audio representation of the mood you go through when you've, you've got OCD. You can listen to them on, online at headtapes, www.headtapes.com. For me, a creative outlet really helps, you know, uh, whether it's drawing, uh, designing, or writing music. Um, I, I know that I feel better and I feel some kind of relief when I can channel some of those, some of that negativity into. Um, you know, music or art, and it, it really helps. So, if you're a, if you've got OCD and you have any creative talent at all, just focus on it, and you might find that it helps. <laughs>